Mm-hmm. You won't be short on time. You won't be finished on time. <clears throat> You'll be short on time. So I'd like to welcome you. It's uh, wonderful to see so many of our students here with us tonight. We're looking forward to some recognitions later in the meeting. And I uh, thank all the rest of you who are uh, here in, in person and as well as those who are watching online. We will officially call the meeting to order. I'm Sue Thank you, Mr. Chair. It is a blessing to see all these beautiful faces tonight. And I hear the beautiful voice of a future athlete. And so we welcome that voice. And that's the sweetest sound I think there is. At this time, I'd like to invite forward uh, Reverend Tim Merrick from Sugarville Baptist Church to lead us in the invitation, please. If everyone would rise. Thank you. 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 We thank you, Heavenly Father, the Lord, for this opportunity to come and thank the Lord for these men and women that are sitting on this board, Lord, in behalf of our, our students and our students and our faculty. Uh, Lord, we know that it's not only the board, it's our staff, it's the parents, it's the students. Lord, we pray for each and every one of them. We ask you to lead and guide in our decision making, Lord, and now again, we know that it uh, entails a lot, Lord, and we know also, Lord, it can't please everyone. So we just pray, Lord, that they would uh, look to you in the decision making, Lord, you lead them and guide them, direct them uh, in that. And Lord, I pray for your soul uh, that this year is going to be lost that they come to know before uh, it's too late and cost out this walk of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Gary. You'll please remain seated. I'm going to invite Deputy Seriani to lead us in the front to win the Bethel League. Thank you. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here with the 
And I believe you have the next special recognition of slow moving. I don't believe that they could familiarly be able to serve this, but they're winning all kinds of awards and recognitions. Amen. Well, I'm all about things that help support our kids and agriculture. You all know that I farm when I'm not at school, and so it's very important to me that we continue that tradition. I would like to invite Ms. Kristen Stone and Ms. Amy Adams up with me. So this year, we have partnered together. This is a picture from last year. As you can see, we have a lot of students working on this project. But these ladies came together, and we worked to write a grant for them to work on their legacy garden at Bay High High School. And what I'd like to tell the things that you're going to do with your garden this year. <laughs> well, first off, just thank you to Martha because she came to our advisory committee meeting. We didn't even know this grant was possible. Um, Ms. Birch had started this years ago with a grant and it's dwindling. So you had this on your radar. So thank you to you. Um, but we are, right now, we're going to set for. Kind of like a salsa garden. So everything that we grow, we bring back into the, the lab and the kids are right here. So with everything with groceries right now being so high, we like to teach our kids how to grow for themselves. And this is really about sustainability. So we want to teach the students how to keep the garden sustained in both infrastructure as well as plants. And we will continue to work with that. We've had a great lesson this year at Marriage Elementary with what happens when people best call around hogs come to visit. And so we're having a lot of teachable moments in our gardens, and that's just the reality of farming and having good food. So thank both of them for being a part of this and working together to achieve something awesome for our kids. Um, this is the second year in a row. 
Um, this is our second championship. And we're losing a couple of these girls that will go on up to the high school and hopefully be able to be part of that success. But our success also came from some of these girls that are sitting here. And if you don't mind me embarrassing you, um, those that were on the state championship team last year, um, Sid and Ellie, and we also
the past, the truth, the truth. She spoke up to the microphone. And I will let them forget who will speak. I'm going to go ahead and have the kids come up. So we can see what we're talking about. That's one. I'm not used to the microphone either, so. Um, thank you, Lord, Dr. Miller, uh, for taking us and our kids, Dr. Ramsey, Ms. York. Uh, we really appreciate this. These kids have worked hard. We had 13 boys. Uh, teen girls come out this season. We started practice in August, and this past Monday was our first one out since August. So we're very proud of these guys. Our boys and girls both were region this season. Uh, this is four in a row for the girls. That has never happened in our school system history.
is thank you all for the opportunity that I get to, to work with you. So thank you.
Et il faut un grand superintendent, c'est vrai qu'il est là. Le projet d'entrée, il est de Tom Bat School. Ah oui, c'est le projet. Ça va être un présentation de ça. Ok, Jim. Speeding well in there. Absolutely. While we're waiting, I'll give you a little preview. There's not many words in our presentation. There's a lot of pictures and a lot of smiling faces, <laughs> which is important. Oh, great, here we go. So, we're going to I'm going to flip things up just a little bit. We don't talk about squats at the end, but I uh, don't want to sell anybody thunder, but the community has spoken. Uh, I appreciate the results of the vote. And these are the things that we use those dollars for at Lewis Elementary this past year. We painted the halls, and uh, that work had started with Dr. Hodges a year before, and another hallway, and I appreciate it, and that was completed uh, this summer. We bought some classroom furniture, and also, I went down the stairs from the basement up to the main building and made some very needed safety upgrades. There were some other improvements that we did not use SPLOSS dollars for. This was a safety grant. And you can see we not only tinted the windows at the opening of the school, but we've also got some um, nice cosmetic work there as well. Looks really good. I invite you to come by and take a look at that. Mr. Brady Carver installed that for us. did an excellent job. I'd like to say a, a great big thank you to the North Georgia Physical Therapy. They, they're closing down their juvenile uh, physical therapy department and they offered some equipment to us and we now have about eight foot climbing wall and please don't panic there we go no. but um, we're not putting everybody in there but it's good for other body strength for some of our students who need that that's in our center room and also we got a very nice um, single use trampoline from North Georgia Physical Therapy and we appreciate them for thinking of the school system when um, they did that. Also, we have a new mural outside our art room, and you can see it there. If you have not seen that, it's phenomenal. Uh, Miss Emily Adams painted that for us, and we really appreciate that. It's an update from what we had before, and uh, it's really quite impressive to see in person. So you folks to Blue Ridge Elementary, other than myself, we've got Miss Amanda Hill, uh, fifth grade math, and she took over this year. Miss Stephanie Lacey is a pre K paraprofessional. We're glad to have Miss Lacey on board. And Miss Cassidy Graham is our kindergarten teacher, as you knew. And then you see our teacher of the year there, Miss Laura Betcock. And now, the star of the show uh, is the students. And we really want to focus on that. And I appreciate the recognition that we just had um, because a lot of these students started out doing some of these things that brought this on in elementary school. Uh, the first slide you will see here are field trips. And I really want to say thank you to our board and our district for allowing us to do field trips. Um, they're not just fun, they're exposure. Our kids need exposure to different things. Uh, and these groups right here that you see uh, travel to Amherst Farms over at Isabella. And that young man over the top of the hand corner is holding a goat. And, uh, which may seem trivial to some of us, but to him, that's the experience of a lifetime. And that gives him an experience that he would ordinarily not have. The students at the bottom traveled to the Tellus Museum over in Cartersville and got some wonderful science experience over there. We appreciate being able to send our students on these experiences out of town. This next slide is more field trip pictures. Uh, you can see up in the upper left, that's our pre K. They also traveled to Amherst Farms, uh, and in kindergarten went to this Johnny Appleseed. He's just about 250 years old. You see him there in the uh, upper right-hand corner as a combination of high school students, middle school students, and elementary over at the Accent. We appreciate being able to bring all of our kids together uh, at the Ag Center and use that facility and our other students to get a good experience for those uh, elementary kids may not work in the habitat. The bottom left is a new piece of playground equipment. Now I'm just thinking about that. We had our pre-K experience at, at Amber Farms, and I think we should have one of those on the playground. It looks like fun for these little kids are in this plastic pipe and having a good time there. But 
all of them gain an experience that they might or not ordinarily gain. A lot of times we think about being here in the mountains and we don't get to get out as much, but these guys got some wonderful experience. Uh, I actually went on the kindergarten trip and we had a great time. Up at the Johnny Appleseed trip, that is a University of Georgia sponsored area where they do a lot of research in orchards and also different plants and grasses that are on there. So we had a great time that day. Uh, student events that we've had, uh, we had Water Day, and somehow I got caught into that. I don't know if we saw any pictures on Facebook, but uh, I got pummeled with water balloons. It was worth the $200 or whatever we raised for that. I appreciate our students uh, taking time to do that. We had a great time that day. And you see the rodeo clown uh, there in the middle. Our rodeo is always a big event for the community. The lower left-hand corner, some of our students are working on the phases of the moon in class and using Oreo cookies. That's a, certainly a motivator for, for learning in that respect. Uh, and then we had uh, one of our days for uh, Red Ribbon Week. Uh, where we dress up with our favorite team on the bottom right hand corner right there. And there's Miss Isabella Castro right in the middle. Uh, she's also participating in our Red Ribbon Week. Uh, we have several community events and I really want to thank the Blue Ridge community and the elementary school community for coming out. We have a great turnout every time. So far that we've had a community event. We've had tremendous help, a lot of volunteers. A lot of people willing to work and work with our students. Uh, in the upper left, this is at the Literacy Nights. Uh, we had a tremendous turnout. And you see Mr. Chris Parker, I want to get him in there. Can't brag enough about our media specialist. He put on a wonderful uh, Literacy Night. He organized it and uh, made sure that we had media and community support. And he is a phenomenal media specialist. We're glad to have him in West Ham. We also had our fall festival, you can see that at the bottom left, and our North Georgia Honor Guard out to work with our kids to help show them flag etiquette and how to take care of the flag properly, uh, and what it stands for, and what it means. Uh, today we have a Veterans Day program, which you will not see. I, I wish we had time to put that in the presentation, but um, these guys really got a good taste of what that flag represents from these men, and they also saw these men today Posting that flag for the Avengers Day program. Bottom right hand corner, we see Miss Emily Adams at an open house helping this young man get acclimated to his new school. We appreciate that. More community pictures. Appreciate the opportunity to partner with the high school. Um, we get invited to participate in the parade. Always a lot of fun. And if I remember correctly, Dr. Ramsey mentioned that it was one of the longest we had, or was the longest we had. We enjoyed our participation in that. Always good to see everybody out at the parade. Uh, I never thought I would enjoy being in a parade, but it is really a joy to be in the parade. Also, we have students all over. Uh, in this slide, you'll see that I'm having lunch with students up there who made some reading goals at the top, the STEM activity here at the bottom, uh, and that's our book painting machine. It's very popular over there, right outside in the lobby. Something I've been counting here at Blue Ridge that I really enjoy and like and be proud of are our clubs. Um, there are clubs there during the day as well as after school clubs, and the students get a lot of opportunities during that time. And I'll talk to some folks today about expanding some of these things. I know we have an art club and cooking club. We have started an investigative research club, those guys at the top. And you can see them there, and Dr. Jill and mine is coming to help us. For that, and she's been a couple of times to help us with that. And of course, we offer archery and gardening. Uh, but I want to call your attention to the bottom right hand corner. Now, this is our running club, and we can see some of the fruits of running clubs being at the elementary school uh, here tonight with a special recognition. Um, I know everybody well, but I would have liked to have seen a show of hands of how many of those students are actually participated in an elementary running club. I know our PE teacher, Carrie Mahir, is a wonderful <coughs> um, talent spot. She takes care of our kids' physical, physical education, but she also is able to really spot talent and things like that. So uh, we appreciate that. Running Club is very popular, and it gives the students an opportunity to know 
what they might want to do in the future. So on STEM update, you see our robotics club here, uh, and those guys have moved on. They have the robots, we have Mr. Z. Payne down on his right there at the bottom, over left-hand corner. We have these guys working on their Lego mats, and uh, these little students right here on the right-hand side are uh, very young, kindergarten, first-grade students who are actually building things uh, in the STEM room. We appreciate the opportunity that they have with that. Thank you, Lord, for letting us have that. Um, somehow we got roped into this. Uh, we were supposed to have Halloween, but we ended up having Christmas. But I'm glad um, you may not recognize me in this picture, but I'm the guy with the white beard and, and the red fist on me. We had a great time with this. Uh, oh, and Ashley Martin, I hope she's watching. She is actually the elf on the ship. You see her sitting up there on the ship. So, but uh, we had a great time with that. The kids enjoyed it. Uh, we had a fun time. And, and it's really good to get back to uh, celebrating some of these days that I know the kids love. I always like to end with a quote. And this one is certainly fitting of my attitude for Blue Ridge and our attitude at school. The price of inaction is far greater than the price of making a mistake. Um, I realize that sometimes we sit back and we watch things go, but I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, I'm not afraid to make mistakes, but we're moving forward. And we're, I'm getting acclimated to Blue Ridge, and I'm so glad they brought me in. And I told them that uh, I wanted them to love me, but I had to love them first. And I certainly love them, and I hope they love me. And we are not going to sit back and wait on things to happen, but we are moving forward. Yes, we will probably make mistakes, and that's okay, but we're moving forward and progressing. Uh, there's some things that I would like to mention that did not make the presentation, because this is a busy month. Uh, we had things here at dinner this week. We had Veterans Day. We had Special Olympics. All these things will be in the next presentation. But we weren't able to get those in there because they happened so quickly. Uh, this was completed last week, so just want you to know that those things were not overlooked but they're coming. So we appreciate our Veterans Day program today. A great community turnout. Appreciate Mr. Mike Cole for being our guest speaker. And did a good job and we appreciate him being there. So anybody have any questions? Great job. I got a comment. Hey, if you make a mistake, there's six of us up here to help you. We are fanning. We are fanning. Thank you, Mr. Young. Well done. <clears throat> Mr. Danner, is there any other comment? No, ma'am. Thanks. <laughs> the next item on the agenda is facilities updates. Mr. Aaron Danner. Good afternoon, board. Uh, again, facilities updates a lot of times will be a lot uh, smaller than what they have been in the past because they don't want to take still the thunder from the principals. Uh, this was a request by the transportation department. Uh, Mr. Mensley, uh, that is a. What are we calling it? It's a ramp where you can wash out throw up. <laughs> <laughs> the, the buses, when they come around, we got the. You know, once we got in our facility, uh, we got contract to come in, and uh, actually, our existing or our old uh, pressure washer from our old building, uh, we put it uh, in that facility to come through the wall. But again, uh, the buses were flat, so uh, it's hard to, to rent out a bus that's not on an incline. So we talked to a local contractor, he came up with a plan, that's completed uh, this week, Friday, uh, but anyway, so again, uh, so again, we'll get some shopping on it and, and everything, so again, that, that was well needed in our transportation department. Uh, also this week, this is the EVOC training, the Emergency Vehicle Operations Course um, the county uh, EMS reached out and said, hey, are y'all training on the bus pad this, uh, uh, from Monday through Wednesday this week? Check with the transportation department. There's not any training going on. So, again, we allow them to use our facility. Um, go ahead, Ms. Jean. Uh, at one time, there were six ambulances there. Uh, and, again, they set up. God, I don't have any cones. So, again, they were extremely appreciative uh, of allowing uh, I'm able to set up our course on our lot, so again, great relationship we have with the county. Uh, go ahead, Gene. I think that's it. 
Bank of Florida updates 746 work orders since July the 1st. So the Bank of Florida is still working. Second. I did. Sorry, I was trying to make sure we had something unlocked. So thank you, Mr. Gator. Next item on the agenda is to approve surplus property. Bid walk-in freezer. We actually had, sorry, we skipped on it. You can sign in, please. We have one bid on our freezer. Remember from last month, this freezer had been out of commission for about 14 years, if I'm guessing correctly. And so we have put that out to bid. We have one bid that come in. Maybe. It's tricky on these bids. We have to keep them completely private until time to. We have one bid that was received for the walk-in freezer that's located on the high school property. The bid amount was $350. We'll stick to a strong deal. So again, Mr. Lionel, if there's a cell phone number, if it's approved or not, I'll ask you to call him first thing in the morning. Tell him congratulations. If not, we'll declare it salvage, and then we'll get that building handed out to you to turn over to the high school for storage. Go ahead. I'll approve that recommendation as presented. Are you here, Mr. Chief, to approve the surplus property bid as presented? So moved. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous motion carries. Thank you, sir. Next item on the agenda is to approve purchase of the Bandy County Middle School security cameras. Mr. Gaynor? Dr. Hodges reached out to her admin team along with Sergeant Bullard at the middle school. Walked the building, found some, actually found several blind spots. So again, come up with a plan. We reached out to our local vendor, ETC, which has our cameras and our system that we currently use. And the quote, go ahead, Ms. Denton. The quote is for $45,959. That includes 37 new cameras. That also includes a new NVR, which is a server that houses cameras. The current server that we have, once we add, if we approve this, we don't have enough space on the existing NVR, so we have to add a second NVR. That's the top line there. We get all the installation. This is a turnkey project. So again, this is for a new server with 37 additional cameras and all installed as well. Okay. Mr. Chair, I make the recommendation as presented. Chair, I make the motion to approve the purchase of the Bandy County Middle School security cameras. You have that motion. Is there a second? Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous? Motion is approved. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is to approve district financial report. And Mr. Darren Deere will be doing that for our finance director, Susan Witt, who's actually attending GASBO. It's an annual training for financial people across the district. Thank you, Susan. Mr. Chair? Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. Again, here's our finance report. It's shown every month. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, Ms. Wynn will be glad to answer those on Monday when she returns. But again, she asked me to present this, which I'll be glad to do. So again, this is our standard report. This is a quarterly report. 25% of the year is included. So again, if there are any questions, I will defer those to Ms. Wynn. And she will get back with you on that. I bet the board will come up with some good questions. Mr. Weiss, please help. Please help. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Mr. Chair, I make a recommendation to approve Mr. Weiss' presentation. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is to approve the purchase of the Bandy County Middle School Security Cameras. Mr. Weiss? Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is to approve the purchase of the Bandy County Middle School Security Cameras. Mr. Weiss? Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is to approve the purchase of the Bandy County Middle School Security Cameras. Mr. Weiss? Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is to approve the purchase of the Bandy County Middle School Security Cameras. Mr. Weiss? Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is to approve the purchase of the Bandy County Middle School Security Cameras. Mr. Weiss? Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous. Motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is to approve the purchase of the Bandy County Middle School Security Cameras. Mr. Weiss? Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Those unanimous.
Let's see now the sausage group. Thank you. <laughs> Next time on the agenda and another opportunity, um, Mr. Darren Nader is going to give us plus update. Mr. Nader? Uh, I can't can answer my finished question. I can't read the number on this. So uh, our allotment, uh, I'm sorry, our, res our receipt for this plus for the month of September, $882,707.22. So that is an increase of 4.2% from the previous year. And uh, again, I'll uh, defer anything else about this loss. I'm sure that's going to get discussed later on in the program. Thank you, Mr. Nader. Next up on the agenda is the Board of
Thanksgiving. Before we may begin, we'll have Thanksgiving, and I've had Thanksgiving all week, and uh, Miss Martha, your department went above and beyond. Some of them have cooked two Thanksgiving meals, and I believe West Bain, and you said 900 meals at one time. I think they told me at West Bain in the day they did 600 the first day or something meals that they served, and it was delicious. Um, so I just wish everyone blessings and love for this Thanksgiving holiday. Reach ceremony, it was a blessing to be a part of um, building futures for our kids and providing opportunities. Mark, thank you for your presentation. Special Olympics, if you all got to attend that, that is a day that will make you realize what a blessing it is to be alive and share this planet with so many beautiful people. And the voters of Bingham County, praise the Lord, East Wasp Pass. Hold it in our hearts that um, we have discernment and wisdom to use what we are given to benefit the children of Bain and County and to help them have a better life. We are blessed. Like Mr. B said earlier, we are family. Got that right. With that, I'm done. <clears throat> Mr. Chair? Ms. Calvin, let's just go down the line. Sure. Hey, thank you, everybody, for showing us our perspective. It is a, such a joy to see all of our athletes here to, tonight. Uh, I guess I'll touch on that more than anything. I want to especially thank uh, the Roosh for that, Dr. Roosh, you and your wife. We know that that commitment reaches way down in the past few years. We might start to see some of the fruits of that, and I appreciate it. Uh, I don't think it gets set it up. I know you like to stay in the shadows a lot and don't like to get the recognition, but you and your wife do deserve a lot of it. Recognition for that. Uh, we're seeing a lot of the fruits coming out of y'all's good efforts. Uh, I know that you and made mention to me a while back and Miranda started some of the run running program at the elementary school. So I think that needs to be mentioned. It's a very honorable thing that she's done. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just glad to see it, how it's, it's turned out. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, Mr. Ramsey, I want to, Dr. Ramsey, I want to thank you for the one and only parent that you had. And come eat Thanksgiving with your kids. And, uh, I did not know that that was not something that wasn't normal. Um, Everybody there was just thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> 14 years, I think, is what one of the ladies said. They had never had a parent come eat with their children. So I thank you for letting my wife come eat with my children. So that was very enjoyable for them. They, they have talked and laughed about that quite a bit. So I thank you. Um, once again, it is, um, it is a I don't know if the painter's not the word, but it is such a joy for me to be on this board of these gentlemen. It is an honor, <laughs> something that I don't take lightly. I love each and every one of them, and I thank God for them. So thank you all for being here. God bless you. Mr. Lewis. I have heard that Ms. Dawes, I guess for 15 or 20 years, talk about how fine family is. So I'm going to predict that she's going to write a book, Fanny's Fine, someday. And I'm going to suggest that the people that here, were here tonight, those parents that stuck with their kids through all that, uh, I guess I have a special insight having my grandkids involved in it. But I know the parents went to, uh, what's the name of the city, down past Dallas, uh, you know, like whatever the name it is. Carrollton's High School, Cochran Yes. But what came to my mind was there was a truck, uh, a bus driver that got up Saturday morning and he took a load of kids, spent the day and brought them back. Parents did the same thing and they spent probably two meals going to come and take your guys and the people that were here tonight, those parents, that's what makes Fannie County great is parents that care and love their children. So I kept thinking over and over, God is the love. Fannie County, people love their kids and they put kids first. And that's what makes our school system so great. And Mr. Dr. Ramsey gives his report 
He has to have an hour to begin to cover the programs, the athletics, the things that children have after school are covered in scholastic. Any interest that a kid has, it has an area to excel and have a special interest and be special. Just like these, who would have thought when I was a young boy that I would travel or my parents would put me in a car or put me on a bus and I'd go to Dallas, Georgia, whatever the name of the place was, and spend the day and spend the money to do that or that the superintendent would put that money forward to do that. Or that the school board would, would think that's important. Uh, it used to be three R's and that's it. But there's a whole lot more to life. And I think that this school system is right on target. I think we are touching children and we're going to come away with super kids. Every year it gets better. And it's, it shows in the product. What was it, a month ago, two months ago, we had a, a one student that went to national honors. Not just state, but to national honors. And that comes out of teachers who care, people who care, parents who care, a community that's together, a board that cares. So I'm thankful. I'm glad to be a citizen of Fannin County and grow up in a country here where old values really stand. That's all, folks. <laughs> I ain't got too much to say. I appreciate everybody being here. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Gary for coming and having our invocation. He and I go way back. We're friends, and he's a good guy, and I appreciate him taking his time to come and do our invocation for us. Uh, have you ever heard the phrase, tickle pink? That's what I was when I seen all those children in here who did great in the area that they participated in. Like I said, we are fanning, so we can do it. Uh, like, thank Mr. Young for his presentation. I wasn't kidding when I told you if you got in trouble, these six people up here are happy. All you got to do is say, Bob, I need help, and I'll do it. And the rest of these guys and Miss Miller will too. I appreciate our SRO being here tonight. Uh, appreciate our uh, principals being here. Like I said a long time ago, you might have had one or two that came out. A lot of times you didn't have none. But we got good principals and I appreciate you. You going out to your fruit in the morning? <laughs> I see Miss Hodges sit down at English, she's like her fruit of the morning, so anyhow. <laughs> well, I appreciate all of you. Love you. Uh, if any of you said a prayer for me during my knee operation, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And if you hadn't, I'll still let you. Because I, I got a way to go. Thank you. Well, it's awesome to see everybody and. Uh, <clears throat> For you that are listening online, thank you for uh, look, watching in. And uh, uh, Mr. Price, I want to apologize. I didn't get to make it to your uh, your uh, veterans uh, presentation, but I'm so grateful for all the veterans. Uh, I do have to pay the bills at some point. Miss <laughs> um, Allison, Mark, y'all knocked it out of the park, both of you, and uh, what you did for the veterans, and I, I appreciate it so much. And uh, Mr. Young, you let us know about that water day with them balloons and notify some adults and we can see if we can get that uh, count money count to go up. And uh, <laughs> that seems to work real well when we get the DA on the, you know, on the, the what is that? Uh, Duncan Booth. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. So she makes a lot of money. You might make some good money doing that. But uh, I love you guys so much. So proud of the cross country. 
not only we see that here tonight, but the band, uh, they've been going and uh, getting all superiors, got football first round tomorrow night, or Saturday, excuse me, Saturday. And uh, we just have some awesome, awesome athletes, so glad to see them. Also, some of you may not know, I'm going to introduce them right here, friends of mine, Debbie and Steve Curdy. So glad they could be here. They're educators in their own right. Uh, they come from California. Don't hold it against them. Uh, they're good people. So, uh, Miss Martha, outstanding. You always do, and it's good to see a country girl doing her thing. So, God bless y'all. In the season of Thanksgiving, it's, it's hard to know where to start, but I want to say this. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. You bring your unique talents and, and dedication to this system, and, and that's what makes this system so special. So thank you, every single one of you. You're, you're, you're just remarkable. I'm so very thankful for the voters and, and citizens of Fayette County renewing our SPLUS program. I'm thankful for the opportunities that allows us to afford our students to go and compete in these incredible um, events and all of the enhancements that allows us to bring to the classroom. We are blessed to be a fan of Mr. Gary, when did you have your surgery? A week yesterday. I think, Mr. Hey, I got a good doctor. Yep. Um, Got that one. <laughs> Thank you all. I appreciate my board members. It's an honor to work with them. And I uh, certainly appreciate our superintendents. She's doing a fantastic job. Hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm also very thankful for the way our school system supports our veterans and, and honors them during this season. Um, it's truly impressive. And, um, I think a great deal of learning. And appreciation and respect comes about because of those programs. So thank you for so taking them. But that said, I'll do the game with you here. So do. Say, motion second. All those in favor? We stand adjourned. Thank you.